Okay, time to get on to our rib, which, if we consult our blueprint, is very easy to find in this form. We have 47 stitches. Remember that it's just like the one that you did in the other class. Those are loops you're hanging, and there are only 47 of them. It's 12 plus one row on a key plate two. Those are your 12. And then tug down loosely on that, a real hard and good firm pressure on your handle as well for that last row with key plate four, and it's a two by one rib. If you remember correctly, the procedure is to fold it so that the wrong side of the knitting is facing you. If you've used nice con contrast color, you can see all those loops. I want you to put your green cards behind 47 stitches, rehang all those bottom loops, knit your rows, convert, bind off, take everything off of it. You will have a completed back and then join me again. Okay, now that our back is finished, we notice by our construction diagram, the front is exactly, excuse me, blueprint, exactly the same, except when we get to row 58, we have to stop and work on that crew neck. Also, notice we've made piece number one and we're ready to make piece number two. What I'd like you to do now is to go through the exact same steps from beginning to row 58. Don't forget to mark your underarm at row 33. And most importantly, watch your ball of yarn because this might be the time when your ball of yarn runs out. If it runs out when you are in mid-row, all the rest of the stitches along that row will drop off in your lap and make you most unhappy. So you might try putting a little clothespin or clip at the end of your yarn. Join me again when you've gotten to row 58 of the front of the neck and or of the front, and we'll work on that neckline shaping.